Hey guys, Rod here. Today we're going to be painting up a dire bore. Now I use these two pictures right over here as my inspiration for painting the dire bore. And this is what he looks like when I got done. So we're going to go through and if you got the dire bore, paint along with me. Let's have a good time and enjoy it together. After basing the model with an Albert Brown and then going back over the main and hair area with Dungeon Stone, I decided I'm going to paint the muscular parts with the Bugbear Brown. So this shade right here is just like maybe two or three shades lighter in color. On the other side of the model, you can see where I'd painted it before, that where the muscle tone is at, and it really does stand out good. The next color I'm going to be using is Minotaur Hide, which is another brown color, and it's a couple shades lighter than the Albear Brown. I then figured out how I was going to do the uh, main hair area and I thought I'd do it with uh, black. I'm using the abyssal black and right now I'm just showing you where I'm going to be hitting and going to be doing the stronger points and I'm going to be doing those uh, little tufts of hair on the uh, pig's legs and across its tail. And the hair tufts on the jowls. Thank you. 
Now our dire boar is really starting to come through and show his true self. I think that the way he looks right now, he looks like he's already had a wash done on him. But next thing I'm gonna do is apply a flesh tone wash to the fleshy areas and I'm gonna do a strong tone wash to the hair and mainline area. I'm not really gonna show you how to apply the wash because you've watched me apply wash on a couple of my other videos and you know once you see someone apply a wash you've seen someone apply a wash <laughs> and this is what he looks like as he's drying with our bore all dried up now i'm just going to go back oh look at that i just realized that i missed a spot on his tail now the primer is just showing through and I just caught it at the right angle. There is our bore. I did forget to hit the record button when I done the uh, painting on the jowls, the eyes, the tusks, and in the mouth. I also went over it with a dry brush with goblin skin. There you go. We have all successfully painted the dire bore. So if you enjoyed this video and paint along with me, Go ahead and post a picture of your mini at Thakos Cave on Facebook. This way I can see what your work looks like. Till next time guys, you have a great game. Now, grab that D8 and roll your damage.